All right, everyone. Today we're going to have a quick look at this absolute beauty of Star Wars Chrome Darth Vader. Um, I only have three Darth Vaders, which is this one, Unmasked One, and him and his TIE Fighter. Apologies, the fourth one, where he's in the Rogue One 8 pack I have. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's have a look at it. So, the first Star Wars number one, Darth Vader. Again, Darth Vader number one at the side, top, and picture of him on the bottom. And the other ones in the line. Um, I actually don't have it. I think I've got Yoda and Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, the rest I don't have. As you see, there's a couple of wee marks in the... In fact, I don't know if I'll pick it up in the actual box itself. Nothing major, but I will be putting them in a pop protector here at the end. There is quite a bit of a ding up in the top there. That's him. And the top. And the bottom. Alright, so what I'll do is quickly pause, get him out and have a proper look at this bad boy. And there he is out of the box, and he is beautiful. It's not really picking up properly on the camera, but he is shiny gloss. Lovely. So with all the other Star Wars, he does come off. He came off rather easily, actually. Um, I don't think his hole's too big for the pegs. And it just slides off. Anyway, not really bothered with that. Um, nice to see, for once, he has a straight saber. That's what she said. Um, and this one is completely made differently to the rest of the pops as you can hear the noise it's more kind of plastic and it's very very light so it is um, so sorry just so you can see the kind of only bad thing with this one is it fingerprints everywhere but looking at them the detail in it they've actually put kind of grey paint there and even the colours of the kind of buttons and things on his belt um, and as you look at that you can see it just glistening away to his uh, it is kind of looking kind of copperish off there, but it's not. Trust me, it's right chrome. Um, you can see it glistening away there on the sides. And he has a beautiful looking pop. So he has, even the detail there, they still managed to get all the good detail with the kind of fabric, the material of that. It's kind of to look like, see all the stripes in there? And then <clears throat> on the, the helmet itself, you'll get that. The helmet itself is just nice, quite standard and very similar to the rest of them. They've even painted the eyes black to, so they would stand out. So this guy is nice, and again with them all, they come with a base. And we'll be putting them back on it. So yes, so this is just a quick review. My camera is telling me I've only got a couple minutes worth of shooting. So in fact I've got about two minutes, so I'm going to make this quick. So if you like it. Thumbs up, hit me up in the comments if you want to chat, if you didn't, I'm sorry guys. Just take care out there, and remember, there's the loving too. Oh, wait, 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 before I finish up, I've just noticed the Star Wars, the S and the T are a bit squint. First time I've noticed that on one of the bases. Let's see if we can bring it up closer. See that? That's well, not normal. Um, but as I say, I'm going to whack him in a pop protector, but you still need to see that, so... If you like, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll hit you up in the comments if you want to chat. I will supply the link. This one was bought for Bin Planet as well. I'll supply the link to that. Um, if not, I'll just supply a link to the website. Um, any of you want to know any more information about them or photos or anything, just hit me up and I'll send you them. All right. So if you like it, thumbs up. Feeling that. Sorry, guys. Just remember to take care out there. And remember, Nairs need love too. Ciao.